but our next speaker did a hell of a lot more than I did. <laughs> um, he's Daniel Ellsberg. <laughs> military strategist who helped strengthen public opposition to the Vietnam War in 1971. Wow. By leaking secret documents known as the Pentagon Papers in the New York Times. Yeah! Wow. yeah. The documents contained evidence that the U.S. government had misled the public, imagine that, <laughs> regarding U.S. involvement in the war. Well, that's never happened before. Daniel Ellsberg. Thank you all for being here. It's an honor to be here. I've discovered that I've just been scratched as the alternate for Bradley Manning in the, uh, in the Grand Parade. They asked me the other day, <laughs> if I was willing yeah. to serve, uh, serve for him, and of course I was very honored to do that. They told me I'd be in a um, car, maybe maybe my own car here, uh, at the head of the parade, waving to people. I would have loved to do that. But I'm happy to be here in this protest. I was, I was proud, let's say, of the people who voted him to be Grand Marshal. They did, they did credit to the LGBT community by doing that. The man who nominated uh, Bradley Manning for this in the former Grand Marshals said today, uh, called for her to rethink uh, this decision, realize she made a mistake and, re and reverse it mm -hmm. and let him be a Grand Marshal. Of course, that's what should happen. Uh, another speaker uh, called for the resignation of Lisa Williams as director since she had so uh, undermined the values really of the gay community. When people were putting out signs on uh, YouTube and the uh, uh, internet, I am Bradley Manning, I wrote my own sign, I was Bradley Manning. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't always. Uh, the war happened, the Vietnam War happened really because I wasn't Bradley Manning in 1964 or 65 when I had access to documents, top secret documents that could have been put out at that time and I think would have made it impossible to escalate the war. So I have a heavy burden on my shoulders. It took me five years, including two years in Vietnam, to realize that I should do what Bradley Manning did. And at that point, I didn't have what he had, which was current documents to put out. So I admired him tremendously for putting out documents that can show ongoing war crimes, as by this very president, Barack Obama, the torture that he showed that we were handing people over to Iraqis to be tortured. We would have troops in Iraq right now, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, if our present president had his way. But thanks to what Bradley Manning gave to WikiLeaks, he showed yeah. that in those yeah. temples that there were atrocities by American soldiers that we had denied and covered up. And that made it impossible for Maliki in Iraq to give us immunity from prosecution by Iraqis for atrocities by American soldiers. And uh, Obama could not afford to send American troops over there to commit atrocities or to kill people uh, without immunity from the Iraqis. So he had no choice but to pull them all out. Now there are people who say, we wish they were still there. I am not one of those. So that's one of the things I give Bradley Manning credit for. And I'm very proud to be identified with him. Incidentally, uh, people think that uh, I'm regarded as okay now, as a foil against Bradley Manning, the bad guy. I don't see that in any respect. Uh, president and the Vice President Nixon and his Vice President, who was later uh, pushed out for uh, extortion, <laughs> both called me a traitor. It's no more fun then than it is for Bradley Manning, for me to, uh, to hear that, for a patriot to hear that then or not. Well, we're here today because a big mistake was made by the Board of Directors of Gay Pride. <laughs> They're talking about a mistake made by one of the most honorable things that the gay pride people have probably done for a long time. A show of real patriotism in honoring Bradley Manning. But uh, her comment is, this is Lisa Williams, uh, we all await the decision of that system on Bradley Manning. However, until that time, even the hint until he gets his life sentence that they're trying to give him, even the hint of support for actions which place in harm's way the lives of our men and women in uniform 
will not be tolerated by the leadership of San Francisco Pride. Well, when I first read that, I said that means they will not allow uh, George W. Bush, Rumsfeld, uh, any of these other people uh, uh, to uh, Cheney, who put these people in harm's way and would keep them there now if they would. But I'm not sure that's what she meant. I think there was a reference to Bradley Manning in that point. She made a mistake, as anybody could. She claimed that they made a mistake, somebody made a mistake in electing Bradley Manning. Well, people who lose an election uh, generally think that, but this is the first time that that uh, electoral vote has ever been rescinded, as I understand it. So she's the one who made the mistake, and people should tell her that. Well, let me say, first of all, it's been shown even by Roosevelt, Bradley Manning did not harm or place it on the life of a single serviceman. That is a falsehood propagated by the Pentagon. And when it comes to the question of any hint of support for, uh, for Bradley Manning, if that's who we're talking about, let me make it very clear and plain. I'm sure you're all included in this, but speaking just for myself, I don't hint at support for Bradley Manning. I couldn't be louder and uh, yeah. more... Uh, that at the gay pride parade and i guarantee to you that i will be marching in that parade for the first time for me with a banner uh honoring bradley manning that will not be tolerated by the leadership. I guess I'm in for a little intolerance in the course of this. But I'm sure I will be there, and I will not be the only vet and the only Marine who is in that parade. I hope that everyone who feels, as I do, that Bradley Manning is a hero should come and support him. There are others who might not agree with Bradley Manning who would disagree with this decision to reverse the electoral nomination. Mm -hmm. And they, too, should support Bradley Manning and be uh, uh, in support of him. But in particular, the many people who feel that he did the right thing, he did it for his country, and he, he very broadly reserves every award he's gotten and will get, uh, should, should show their support. Thank you.